Okay. As you can see, I'm running OBS uh, in Linux, you know, uh, because this is Zorin Linux, Zorin Studio, or whatever they call it, Ultimate, I guess they call it, where they have a ton of software installed for uh, people who try to do different things. Okay, um, got a bunch of junk around me because I want to go through some things with you. Uh, earlier today, I hooked up, okay, oh, yeah, okay, okay where do I have them both here? Come on. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, first let me get rid of this. Uh, this is a uh, Logitech. No, it's Sound Blaster. That's different, isn't it? Sound Blaster. This is a, their older one. Has, I forget how many speakers in it, how many microphones in it, or whatever. And I've used it in the past. Uh, you know, there are no auxiliaries. There's no right and left. There, everything's in here. So this is, you can plug in USB, with a, it, I don't know if it's micro or mini, whatever, it's very small. Go into your computer, and they have software. But it works um, with different, you know, uh, Ubuntu, Linux, uh, Chromebox, uh, you know, it, it works. Or you can, or you can just come out of your computer, or whatever, and go into you know an auxiliary port, and then just power this off of a uh, USB supply. I've had it quite a while. I've used it off and on. Uh, it's been okay. I knew what was going to happen, and sure enough, it's happened. The USB. Uh, now when the cable's in there, if it wiggles or something, and even when it doesn't, you know, noticeably wiggle, all of a sudden my audio would be gone. And I'd there'd be no lights up here, and I wiggle the cable and it comes back on. So, you know, basically it's this is gonna be a doorstop or a paperweight now. And I knew in the very beginning that was going to be a problem. I'm very careful, like with my cameras and things. I just, I just hate all these things like this, because you know you're going to have problems. Okay, so that's out of the way. You probably never see that again. Uh, my son, when we lived back in Kansas City, Missouri, right after he got out of, uh, actually, he dropped out of high school, but he took his GED test, yeah, and then he went to uh, an electronics, see it was electronic tech training, electronics and, what was it, electronics and computers, I guess that was it, and then while he was, uh, well, while he was working there, then he got a uh, contract job working for the place that he uh, wanted to work. That's where he wanted to work. And what's the name of the place? It's the famous one for making GPS units, the early GPS units or whatever. I'm not sure if their headquarters was in the Kansas City, Missouri area or if they just had a place there, but he got uh, hired in uh, to work there and it was his dream job. So there he just got out of electronic school and uh, whatever. And uh, so it was agreed that, because he was working for a contract company, that he had to work for the contract company. And then, I want to say, what's the name of the GPS? Oh, I can't, anyway. Uh, then he had some, uh, psychiatric problems hit that, and, you know, he never had anything like that before, but it hit him, and uh, they 
uh, did not hire him, and he could no longer work there. Oh, the reason that popped in my mind was I was thinking, you know, uh, he should be able to fix that for me. But so um, anyway, that's over. Okay, I um, years ago I purchased. This is a Chrome box, Asus. Maybe let me enlarge this video here. There we go. I purchased this uh, years ago, and it came with its a uh, Chrome box, and it uh, came with four gig of memory, and I upgraded it. Uh, to eight gigs of memory, I believe it was. I don't think it was 16, I think I went to eight. And it has two USB 3.0 on the front. On the side it has a uh, a lock. Let me turn on this for a second and a place for a AMC 5 SD drive or SD card, one of the large ones. Then on the back you have a place for your microphone or for your headset or for audio out. Yeah, for audio out it could be a headset or it could be run into a speaker system. You have a, a display port and an HDMI port and two 3.0 uh, USB ports and then one for a networking cable. So uh, I purchased it and I upgraded it. Uh, that's an ASUS. Now I um, Hardly used it at all. I really wanted it. It was inexpensive, and I wanted it to have it here. Uh, so if we had a computer go out on us or whatever, we could just hook this up. We'd have every, you know, because I already have keyboard, mouse, all that to more than one. <laughs> and uh, have would have everything. Monitors, I've got one, two, three, four monitors, I think, on the floor maybe five, uh, not counting the ones we're using. Okay, what, so I, this is like brand new, really. <laughs> what I did not know is, and I forget the time frame on this, but after seven years or something like that, Chrome does not update their software for the device. And uh, I think I bought this fairly new from Amazon. I think it was like new. Hadn't been out very long. But it's not like they stop supporting your Chrome device if you've had it for, let's say, it's seven years. It's, you know, if, if this comes out and it's available for two or three years and then you purchase it, you know, the time started when they make these when they made these. So you might get it and only get three or four years before. And so let me put this someplace without smashing my... Okay. So uh, so then Chrome software came out where they support uh, Android devices or Android uh, apps and now they're still working on perfecting everything you know they're, well, they're you know fixing it but now they also support um, so you know normally it supports Google this is a Google device so it supports uh, Google apps then they supported Android apps and now they support Linux apps. 
And uh, so this is a new one that I got, I don't know, a few months ago. HP, same thing, Chrome box uh, with four gig of memory. It's a little more, the other one was no problem at all putting the, this one will be a little more difficult. You have to be a little more careful with opening this up and putting in the new memory, but I'm going to do that eventually. So this device on the front, you have your, you know, speaker out or headphone out. And also apparently, if I remember correctly, if you have, which I do, it's, oh, I'm actually using it. Uh, if you uh, go in with the jack, one of the jacks, it's audio or uh, mic and uh, headphone with one jack, uh, this will work. Now on the front you have uh, two USB 2.0 and next to it you have a spot for a micro SD card and uh, now those are 2.0, so on the front, I would plug in, you know, like the keyboard, although I do have a keyboard in the closet that's 3.0. But uh, I would plug in here, My normally I would plug in my uh, keyboard and my mouse. Actually, there's a, a SD, micro SD, you know, I'm leaving it in there. On the side, you have the... Uh, thing for locking this down so somebody doesn't walk away with it. And next to it, which was not on the other, is a reset thing. Now on the back, you've got your, uh, whoops, wrong sign, you know, network cable. Next to it you have, uh, is it three? Okay, I think those are, yeah, they are three uh, USB 3. I remember watching a, a video by a guy that specializes in, uh, maybe he wasn't talking about this device, because he said the first two and that the third wasn't as fast. But I'm, that might have been, he might have been reviewing something other than the HP. Anyway, 3.03 3 of them. Now next to it is um, HDMI. No, that is not HDMI. Oh, I can't see it. Yeah, it is HDMI. Okay. And then up above the... Oh, that's the speaker out. Okay. No, that's power supply. Down there is power supply. Above that is a micro USB. No. No, it's micro USB, but uh, I have a cable. In fact, I think it comes with it. So you can run this into, uh, from micro USB into uh, an HDMI on your, so you can have two, easily two monitors, you know. So that's this. Oh man. I have developed, I got agonizing pain. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> don't worry, it's not, I don't think, chest, you know, it's not, it's uh, not heart related. I don't know what it is. It's, well, it happened right after I got a, uh, a shingles booster shot. But, I mean, it, it it hurts. I'm somebody who normally doesn't. This hurts so bad that it's like, ow. I'd say a two or three on a scale of ten of pain. And it, um, like, ow, ah, ow. So I'll switch hands, you know, I'll switch hands, which, uh, because of that, so, ouch. Uh, <laughs> Um, anyway, that's this device. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. I hooked this up earlier today. This is like, again, brand new. 
because I just don't, you know, uh, I hooked it up and, you know, this is a 4K monitor and I've, Windows 10 was working great for me finally. Windows 10 was finally working. Well, Windows was, finally everything was fine. Great. No problems. But you know, going to YouTube or, and I, by the way, in the PC, you know, that I'm using, um, you know, it has 16 gigs of memory. Um, and 4K video would just, you know, would buffer. Even going to YouTube with the 4K things they have up there, like you can kind of try things out. Um, it just didn't, you know. So I went to Ubuntu Studio and to... Zorin. Oh, I can see the Z there. Okay, now let's see if I can remember which. Uh, yeah, I think Ubuntu Studio 4K, you know, buffering, staggering a little bit. I went to Zorin and uh, it was much better 4K. Much better 4K. But then <laughs> I hooked this up today. Boom. 100%. No buffering. Um, and there's on YouTube um, some guy in New York City. I think he has some type of a book because he has a thing on his screen booking or something or other. But he walks around. He has a whole bunch of 4K video walking around New York City and uh, he must have it mounted. I don't know if he has it mounted on a helmet or his hat or he has something because it's up a little bit higher than he, unless he's really, really tall. And he got like an hour and a half or two hour videos and he has more than one going all around New York City. I sat and watched over an hour of it and it was fantastic you know, because he was St. Patrick's the Cathedral, uh, uh, Fox News outside of them and then outside of the uh, others and anyway it was great video and audio walking around and no buffering no stuttering that's with that's with this with four gig and uh, so that's amazing okay the other thing I wanted to mention You know, with me running Linux, I'm running Zorin now. You know, my Microsoft 502 Hero, you know, of course, works fine. <clears throat> what I tried the other day was the uh, MX Master 5. I was, or is it 3? Three. 3. And, uh, you know, wireless. And uh, what I was surprised that in... Uh, Linux, it's uh, that's working, and in fact, when I looked up, now of course the software doesn't pop up, and of course this uses a, a dongle. Oh, that's it here. I tried to round all this stuff up. USB. What I was surprised when I looked it up, it was like um, when I went to the, some Linux site or entered actually a search. Uh, I think Linux is at version 19 or whatever. I think they were saying uh, that, it, that it worked uh, in uh, like version 13 or whatever. Now there again, you can't pull up the software. Well, I'm not going to try it, but what I wonder about is if, if, I put, if I had a Windows computer running, if I put this in and if I change the settings, would those settings then be in here and accessible but uh, or would they be down in the mouse or I'm not sure but I mean it the mouse works like a mouse but now you can't pull up the uh, okay, I'm put this stuff together 
my son, grown son, lives with us, and uh, my ex-wife also lives here. So we have my ex-wife, myself, and my grown son. We all live here. We all chip in on the expenses and what have you. There's no point in both of us paying $800 a month and, you know, paying for a internet service and Netflix and all that, you know, so one, but yeah, whenever I give my son anything, now I don't have the power supply plugged into this one, but if you noticed on this, I keep the power supplies and things, you know, plugged in or somehow in the same box or whatever. I give my son, it doesn't matter what it is, and they're totally, and I've ended up before with a box of just power supplies, trying to figure out which, what it, what goes to which one, you know. Same thing when I'm working on a, you know, computer or whatever. All the screws go here, all the, in different piles and all that kind of stuff. He just, so here's another, well, this is a 502, so I, not sure what the other one is. I have have a bunch of mice. Uh, now the headsets. This is the headset, USB, that you have seen me for, I think, several years making YouTube videos here. I am with uh, OBS and with these versions of Linux, they have too many settings. And all of a sudden, they seem like they change on me. I'm sure because I changed something, and it changes. So this is a headset that's given me good service, and I'll try to figure out how to get it working the way it should be working. But right, right now, I'm using this headset, which I don't care for the audio as much. But, uh, so. So I do have OBS working. But let's. Oops, okay, the mouse wasn't working because I had it on top of the cable. Okay, so I can close this. I may not close it, but. Uh, so what did I want to show you? Um, I drink, as you know, Coca-Cola Zero now, and, uh, well, when I started out in life, I drank Pepsi, Pepsi-Cola. I got married at age 26, and my wife then, she drank Coke, so I changed and became a Coke drinker, uh, and then when Coke Zero became a vape, because that's even before I think I was diabetic, but so I went to Coke Zero. So there is a, a Pepsi Zero. I've never tasted it, but uh, says that Coca-Cola could be in tight supply of artificial sweetener for its diet and zero sugar drinks. So I think I'm gonna and then we're gonna order in some. Uh, food from, and Coke. We have it delivered. I'm not sure the delivery, we tip of course, but you know, in addition to their delivery things, I mean, we tip, but we usually get five or six, 24 packs of Coke Zero cans. I think I'm gonna try a, a two liter or two of Pepsi Zero, see if, uh, see what it tastes like. And then also figure out if, uh, when I went to welding school in Cleveland, Ohio, I'd, when I got out of high school and ten, went down to enlist in the military and they wouldn't take me. I was 40 pounds under the minimum weight requirement. Um, so then my father insisted, he had just read a book. Now nobody would buy the book and nobody would paint it because it was like, 
how to make a million dollars in real estate. And my dad said that he would, there was a Weaver School of Real Estate in Kansas City, Missouri. And I didn't want to go, but he said he would pay and because, and he had me read the book, uh, how to make a million dollars in real estate. Nowadays, the book would, you know, nobody would, people would just go to a casino and gamble or buy a lottery ticket or whatever. But nowadays, the, the book, well, people don't read books, do they? But it would have to be uh, how to make uh, a billion dollars in real estate before somebody would be interested. Uh, anyway, I went to real estate school. I graduated from real estate school. Actually, a few of the things I learned actually came in handy in life. But uh, I just didn't want to do it. So then my father, he was a... At that point, he'd been, a, in fact, well, in World War II, both my mother and father were uh, welders out in California with me as a baby, and uh, members of the Boilermakers Union, both of them, building Liberty ships. And then my father was in the Boilermakers the rest of his life, and eventually he became a union official, a business agent with the Boilermakers Union. So anyway, my father said, well, uh, I will pay for you to go to welding school. And I knew he made good money all his life. Uh, I can remember being in grade school. So I'm not sure, like second or third grade, and the nun asked all the students, okay, how many of your father fathers are not moms, you know, then. How many of your fathers are white-collar workers? Some of the kids put their hands up. Okay. Um, how many of your fathers are blue-collar workers? And I thought, uh, my father, and my father was a, he wasn't a, a union official then, didn't wear a suit and, you know, that kind of thing. How many of your fathers are blue-collar workers? And I thought, uh, my father didn't wear a you know a blue shirt you know he wears a brown shirt, but I figured okay this is it's two choices you know put my hand up, went home and I'm not sure if I brought it up or whatever I said the nun you know and my diet, my father got I am not a blue collar worker, and he said uh, I remember it, I make four forty an hour, so, which you know, that's the kind of wages. Uh, places would like to pay now, but so I think when I started welding, I think I made the first job at a wrought iron decorative iron shop. I think I made a dollar sixty-five, which was okay money. And uh, then I went on up, you know, to one of the highest. Well, I went through. I worked at the post office a while and various, you know, things, but. Uh, I was one of the highest, because of welding, one of the highest paid blue collar workers. Uh, worked it, and I keep, I kept changing companies, but I always remembered, you know, that because anyway, my father was making four forty an hour when other people were making probably sixty five cents an hour or ninety if they were making good money, maybe ninety five cents an hour. But I remember my father got upset because I, you know, I didn't have any choice. You know, it was either okay, white collar or blue collar. You know, they didn't didn't ask if are you as craftsmen. You know, I, uh, so um, I switched. I'll put a link below, by the way. I switched from T-Mobile to Mint Mobile, and uh, I'm now paying, for the next three months I'll pay, oh I already had to prepay for three months, I paid uh, $15, total $45 for three months, you have to pay for three months at a time. Now, I think it's kind of 
so far, I mean, I don't use my cell phone hardly at all. I mean, I use it around here a little bit, but I mean, I need the cell phone for, I'm not, I don't watch any videos on this. I have no, I have no desire to watch. Now, if I was in a doctor's office and I could watch something, you know, sure. I, I don't go to the, I don't even go to the doctor once a month. You know, I go about every six months or something. Well, of course, I skipped going for several years to the doctor, eye doctor, and I haven't, I was supposed to go every, forget how often it is, every six months, I think, for the skin cancer doctor I haven't been in. But, you know, I don't get out that much, and I'm not, not I have no desire to watch a movie or to chat with anybody on, you know, uh, so, but anyway, so I'm signed up for this, uh, for this service, you're going to see a whole bunch of advertisements from people. They, you know, use my link to buy because, and it's actually a good would be a good deal. Well, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm got ahead of myself. So, with Mint, you pay fifteen dollars a month. You know, that you have to pay forty five dollars for three months. At the end of three months the price goes up to $20 a month and you have to pay, you know, $60 for three months. Which, by the way, I was, I've been paying to T-Mobile forever and not really using their service at all, $50 a month for years. But anyway, so I'll have to pay, unless in three months, if you want to pay for a year at a time, then you can 